Right guys, um, don't know why I'm so enthusiastic after that last last episode, but welcome back. This is episode 23 yep. of uh, Red Rivalry here on Spectrum. Um, coming off the back of the worst result I've ever seen in FM. I lost 7-1 seven, seven to West Ham. 7-1 <laughs> to West Ham. Look at the right, like seriously, like look at this. Look look at look at the results. Look at these results. Worst my last loss was against Chelsea uh, in October. Lost two 0 away. Tough game. Won most of my games then. A few draws scattered in between. And then out of nowhere, seven one. I'm still top of the league, which is which is good. Uh, Man City are hot on my heels though, and and another loss and and more more drop points would see them go ahead of me. Arsenal are, are right up my hold as well, and even Liverpool, even Gavin's Liverpool could push up and 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 catch us and catch the top teams if. If I keep messing up, and it, it's not the title race is blown right open after that, after that uh, shocking, shocking result. But I have done a bit of business that I want to tell you about. Uh, I've brought in Nabil Bentaleb. I have sold, uh, as you seen in the last episode, I've sold Fred and uh, Phil Jones. So I needed a, a, a replacement in midfield, and I am looking to try and get someone in a centre back. But Bentaleb, he's homegrown, which yeah, perfect stuff. Uh, and because he did play for Spurs as a youth player, and he came up in their system. Um, 25 years old is when I did sign him. His thing was three stars to, to uh, four star, and that's gone down. I don't know why, but um, he's got great stats. He, he suits what I want as a midfielder. He plays replaces Fred perfectly, really, and uh, yeah, good good option to have there off the bench. And I did sign him for it was only 17 mil, so it was a decent deal to be done. And I have a lot of money in the bank still. Uh, after them, after them uh, deals that I got done, I uh, was selling the players like. Yeah. yeah well 50 mil for Jesse Lingard wasn't too bad but um, 30 mil for Phil Jones probably even better yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go into the game against uh, Bournemouth I think we'll show you over the Gavin's tactics now for his game against Norwich Forest and then we'll see where it goes back to for the, for the game it could go anywhere lucky dip really and I'm just submitting the team uh, I need to give Ben Taleb a number Tory. Yeah, not getting any number that high <laughs> Yeah, we will try over now the Gavin's tactics uh, for his game against Norwich. Right, guys. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna not rain the changes, but we are gonna make a couple of changes. Um, I think we bring Firmino onto the bench, Milner onto the bench. Um, I think we can leave it like that. I am gonna bring actually Firmino into the starting eleven. Um, I'm gonna leave Joe Gomez off just because we have a big game against Arsenal and um, coming up, and it is a massive game. Like this is the way the table looks before the game. We're three points off Arsenal, we have better goal difference. So if we can beat Arsenal at home, it means and Wolves can do what they need to do. Um, if Wolves win, same we drop down to fifth. If we beat Arsenal, we go into the top four. Uh, guaranteed, everyone's played the same other games. If Wolves slip up and draw or lose the next game, and then we beat Arsenal, we're up into third. Um, so. It is, it is going to be a big game against Arsenal. As long as we stick to our plan here and get the win against Norwich, um, everything will be all right. I am also... no, Yeah, I'm going to bring on... I'm going to actually take Milner out and bring on Chamberlain. No, he's injured. Okay, never mind. Uh, Madison stays in. This is how the team's going to look, guys. Uh, for me, it's the only change, really, in terms of um, starting 11. The bench, obviously, has changed around a little bit. Um, Ori is wanted. He ain't gone anywhere really, to be honest. Give me a look. Who else can we bring anyone else in? No, I think I think this is how we're gonna go, guys. This is how we're gonna line line up. Um, I'm just second guessing myself here because I do want to keep keep it fresh and make sure everything everyone's fit for Arsenal. But I don't want to make changes for the sake. But I'm gonna give uh, Jordan Henderson a bit of a chance. I'm gonna swap him and Kate and play Kate. That is the advanced playmaker. Um, and Henderson has the box to box. Um, that's how we're going to line up. We will bring on Madison, obviously, if we need to. Kate has been one of my favourite like performers in the last two or three games. Um, just as the way he wants to press and, and things like that has really impressed me. But uh, yeah, it is going to Dylan's game against the uh, Bournemouth Force. So yeah, um, I didn't even really go through the team properly. Uh, there are, are a few changes in there. I brought Boye in a centre back. De Gea is back uh, uh, in goal after his his injury. Uh, oh no, it wasn't even an injury. I took just took Romero, put Romero in for the Europa League game. Forgot to take him out. 
and uh, he's probably never going to play again after <laughs> conceding seven in that game. But the logo is at right back uh, instead of Wan Bissaka, and Kiesa comes in on the right wing. Uh, other than that, it's the usual team. Uh, Eric Boy coming in for Victor Lindelof. I did want to give Eric Boy a bit of a chance to prove himself. He he, he might suit uh, being the player next to Harry Maguire in the team a bit better than Lindelof does. He has he's he's got that pace. He's got that. Uh, tackling ability, you can you can cover him behind, and I do have him on cover. It's not his most natural position, but I think with his pace, he can he can do that job well. Big game this one. Really bounce big game. Back. Need to bounce back. Chicharito with his big mop of blonde here, and Pal Wilson's in behind, and it's gonna be one 0 is it? Great block, block from Harry Maguire. What a start though from Bournemouth, and is this a repeat of the West Ham game? Bad start from us. Not, I've never seen anything like that. So. Arsenal go one 0 up with Nicholas Pepe grabbing the goal. And nothing comes with Bournemouth on top. The Arsenal 2-1 up, 2-0 up even. It's Kelly throws it into Fraser. It's Chicharito. The low closing down. Can we win it back here? Press was on there, but we just couldn't get it. Chiesa closing down. He lets Kelly go past oh, him. And they're just knocking it around so easily. And they're in down the left. And they've got two strikers in there. Who can definitely cause his issues. If a ball comes in, he finds Fraser. It's across Chicharito. Completely left free. That was shocking. Really bad defending there. It's come across and Pogba, can he pick up in the loose ball? He can't. Harry Wilson finds Callum Wilson and it's what another big chance. And what is happening, lads? Bruno Fernandes, maybe a chance from a set piece. Here, and Martial scores. Oh, we needed that one. It's against their own play, but I'll take it. We need to bounce back after that win. The players may be a bit nervy and that could just settle them down a bit. Bruno Fernandes, set pieces have been an absolute joy to watch this season. Brilliant ball in. Martial gets there into the header and he scores his 22nd goal of the season I think 21 in the league or maybe 20 22nd is it? 22nd 22nd in all pumps we do take over a little bit but they've been in charge of possession and, and we are in our possession based tactic really like we should be dominating the ball here here's the high press I think or a ball in behind Rashford is back there and he goes back to the head Long one. Comes Martial. Comes to Pogba. Brilliant turn from Pogba. Plays it through. Martial's in again. That was a lovely goal. That was a lovely goal. Martial on a hat trick now. And we do look to bounce back now. 2 0 up going at the half time. But this turn from Pogba away from the defender and then slots Martial through. Realistic looking. Oh, he just turns Harry Wilson here. Plays it through. Good finish from Martial. Great goal. And we have taken control of this game now. It was a poor start from us, but once we got the goal, we started to come on top. And uh, we have a bit of control now. And uh, the performance levels dropped. Martial does deserve a bit of praise after his performance in the first half with two goals. Very happy with your performance today, and you gained focus. That's good to see. Midfield uh, performing well. Two assists between them. Bruce Toy from Tonali. I'm just going to take him off. It's not the worst injury in the world, but I'm going to bring Scott Emack on. Um, in the um, what was a ball winner? Could have went with Bentele, but I think I'm gonna give give Scotty the opportunity for now. Whipped in, Pog was there. Oh, and Moy, and it's three 0 <laughs> Eric Boy gets his goal. I think it's his second ever as a Man United player. And this is what we needed to bounce back—a good, comfortable victory. Uh, Bournemouth aren't, uh, aren't an easy team. I think they're sitting seventh in the league in this, so they're doing well enough. Goya throws it to McCommonay back to Jose Goya whipped in Chiesa oh my god big chance from Chiesa at the back post there he just couldn't take advantage of it it was a good performance from the lads creating chances I think we would like to have a bit more of the ball I'm going to go with a bit shorter passing Bring on another change here, and I'm going to bring Dan James on for for uh, Federico Chiesa on the right wing. Whipped in, Maguire first. Not far though, it comes to Wilson, it comes back to Solanke now. And Pogba as well, close down, we are in the break, Dan James is up the line. All could have came earlier. Oh, James just runs straight through the middle of that, bomb at midfield. And he has a shot. What is he doing on his left foot now? I noticed that a lot in the last few games. It must be something with the update as well. Or they're just taking shots from mad distances. 
Arsenal training look now. Let's Comfortable see. win for them. Hey, brace. Nathan Ake. A lot of Bournemouth players booked. We probably should be taking a bit more advantage of that. Getting in their faces a bit more. Solanke closed down by Boye, but he is out of position now. The law has to cover in our centre back, which leads the down the right, uh, down our right hand side, down their left. Does nothing with the chance. I know they'll make the final change. They're going to take Marcus Rashford off and bring on uh, Mason Greenwood. Swap these about. Actually, no, I'm going to leave Martial up front on his hat trick and put James out on the left. Martial Brace and uh, Eric Boye go from a uh, set piece. Look like they're going to be the difference here between us and, and Bournemouth. A minute to go. Game winding down. Uh, nice ball back there from, from Fernandez. Finds Greenwood back to Pogba. Dan James going to have a run here. He does. And can he pull it across here? Players in the middle. Oh, yeah. Come on. Go on. Back for Pogba. Into James. Big chance. What a chance, man. Good play from us. Pogba does the right thing and knocks it down. Knew he couldn't get the power on the header. Just lays it off. It's Pogba now. Back to Goya. Into McTominay. What a ball. Finds Greenwood. Can he pull it back? Oh, he needs to pull it back. It's come back for Dallow. We have players in the middle again. And it's a poor, poor delivery from Diogo Dallow. And that will be the end of the game. Surely here. Whistle about to go. Any moment. And it's cleared. And the whistle doesn't go. It does eventually. 3-0 uh, win. It's a great way to bounce back. Uh, Brace from Anthony Martial after not uh, getting his goal in the last game. He's been on unbelievable form lately. 20 goals in 22 games um, in the league. Uh, 20. Oh no, that's that's before the game started actually. I think the so 22 goals in 23 games in the league now. Uh, 23 in all competitions. Brilliant season from him. I think he moves back at the top score, overtaking Mo Salah now. And we will try over now after we do. We team talk the Gavin's game against Norwich. Very happy with the result. Yeah, over the Gavin now. Right guys, yeah, they've gone with 4 2 3 one. they fancy themselves here today. Wouldn't blame them to be honest. Um go out there and carry straight on. We just need to keep going. The way we're playing, we're feeling playing really well. Right? Yeah. If we just keep it you know, a year goes out there mode. We can just avoid a couple of injuries to our front men. Like defensively, I'm thinking like personally, defensively we haven't been at, but we're like second or towards best defence mm -hmm. record in the league. So like well, well, maybe we're just not already. scoring enough, yeah. And it's it is gonna be Norris with the first chance of the game of yeah, Fabinho. Runs through him. Take the knocks it on to Henderson. <laughs> Fabinho isn't for this forward, is he? That's horrific from Henderson. Low in confidence I suppose from not being playing much, but And look at it, the run. He's gone. Oh we're giving away. And Salah to Henderson. Giving away again. Boys, man. Roberts. He looked off. He's not off. Oh my god. It's a bad start, like a really bad start. What is happening, man? Robertson. To Firmino. To Virgil van Dijk. To Fabinho. Keep looking at that. Yeah, really second too. up to change for some reason. Kaida's driving forward, gets uh, the mole, puts it back. It's it. oh, weird, most sad. The form he's on, like, did he try to just send that on target? But, like, what is happening, man? We just haven't been at it at all. <laughs> and now Salah, the break is on. Knows himself. He's selfish. No options in fairness. The person from Firmino. Norris did brilliant. Need to get that out of there. Look at that. Max Aarons. Norris have looked a better team. And Robertson misses the tackle. Firmino covering. And Aarons is completely free at the edge of the box. And Arnold gets there. Robertson knocks it on. Mane. Max Aarons can't make a tackle or he's off. Oh my god. Dodgy stuff there. Norwich again. <laughs> Henderson. Oh, and Salah's in. Score. Mo. Score. Oh, oh my god. god. Chance, he just opened up his body and yeah. uses his left foot there. Like. Oh, he's just here from Norwich again. Where's the break on? 
Fabinho gets to doesn't get to the second one. And Roberts is allowed to have a oh, shot. Oh man. He needs to go a bit more balanced, man. He's on the great touch from Firmino there. Oh, he has Salah down the right. If he can he uses Mane. Mane has the pace. Can he get away? It's it's tough. Oh, man. Fuck's sake, man. And they're dominating. They're at the end a bit, though, to be fair. No chance of both ends. Did they beat them? No, I didn't. I don't know. I didn't actually see. Oh, boys. The steeper man just rolls, boy. Oh, oh he just throws himself at that. Where's the so well there? This has been horrific, man. Absolutely horrific first half, man. This is what I was afraid of. After three really good, decent results, like. Just straight away, I'm actually going to turn to the bench and bring on uh, Madison. He yeah, actually that just hasn't gone for me like it before. <laughs> Madison's going to come on from Jordan Henderson. Zimmerman. Godfrey. Robertson. To Fabinho. Rolls it across to Madison. Madison just right around the top, straight at Salah. Ball comes out to Trent. Trent is getting a good position. It's a bit better from us. No. We want to go to the 4 3 3. <laughs> I'm probably going to see it. <laughs> Leak now. Ball in. Oh, he's completely free! Holy shit, what was that defending? I need the sword, something I would like myself pieces. Madison. This is where it comes in handy here, the front tree up front. And Salah like is so gone. so many. Oh, lovely stuff. Firmino! Oh, he's offside. Salah was offside. Yeah. Oh, he's gone. Ball in. Firmino! Oh my oh. god, man. It's going to be one of these days, man. The Norwich deser like deservedly are getting that like something out of the game at the minute. Madison, set piece are amazing. What the, that looked in. I thought that went in. Oh my god. Madison has like changed a bit the second half. He's creating some chances, especially from set pieces. And double change. The ball and Halland both coming on. In search of a goal, and it's just nothing like absolutely nothing. Come on, lads! Man, what is going on? I'm back Football to this again. On. That's, that's the problem. And Tottenham get the fucking yeah. Looks like. I'm a draw an arch. This is like just you can't praise your team. Like maybe draw an <laughs> arch. <laughs> probably not. Time. This has Sheffield Wednesday written all over me. Barry Bannon, the wasting time and all, like 40 seconds after. Ball in. Emmy. I couldn't like, let me get the Arsenal need no in to fucking get towards the ball. I couldn't do it. It's fucking abysmal, man. And I, like, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, man. It's just fucking shit. And again, the title which was back on last game is back off. It's. Just so inconsistent, guys. That's the end of the episode. We will see you for the next one. Bye. Bye.